scale. Five more startups to go. So the next team, <coughs> Otopo team, uh, are a combined of Izzy and Nitsan, who are a classical story of friends that met in the army and kept the friendship also afterwards. Until they've decided that the time has come to launch a startup together, when both got excited about their current idea. Izzy is working in Yavne, and Nitsan lives in Gan Yavne. So they chose the program in Ashdod because of the potential interest of their solution for the municipality, and more chances to meet in personal were a nice bonus too. So please welcome them on stage. Today we're going to talk about parking. When people think about parking immediately, what comes to mind is looking for parking space when you're going to center Tel Aviv. However, in today's world, parking is basically a challenge everywhere. This is a photo taken just a few weeks ago in a suburban neighborhood in Rosha in Israel. 11 p.m. at night, people are forced to park illegally on the pavement while at the same time, in their building, there are many available parking spots. If there was only a way for the parking owner to communicate with the driver, or if there was only an efficient tool for them to book each other's parking, wouldn't that be great? We are Otopo, and this is exactly what we're here to do. My name is Izzy Amado, I'm the co-founder and CEO. I have a marketing and sales background from global companies in global markets. Hi, my name is Nitsan Malkit. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Otopo. I have more than 25 years experience in design, development and turnkey project management for leading Israelis and global companies. And as Isabella mentioned, we know each other since we were 18. So, parking is not an Israeli problem, it's basically it's a global problem and it will continue to be with us as long as more vehicles are introduced to the market than parking spots. In the size of the market is expected to grow exponentially by 2025 to 43 billion dollars and this is just a smart digital parking solution market. Today in Israel there are many companies who are trying to recruit privately owned parking in order to increase the supply of parking available parking spots. However, all the solutions that we've reviewed are focused mainly on city centers and are targeting anonymous random visitors. And the limited supply of privately is uh, uh, apparent in all of them. We have went to the market and we've interviewed uh, uh, dozens of uh, potential customers and several uh, inputs came to mind. For example, people are not really open to or allow strangers in their buildings, they're not able to communicate easily between themselves, and basically parking is the number one topic in the building's WhatsApp group. We've addressed all these issues and we've created Autopo as a community-based parking solution, which is basically allowing people to share parking uh, uh, information within the community, and we're Motivate, we are motivating users to offer their parking not only by monetary uh, uh, reason but also as a way to contribute to the community and to the environment. Uh, Autopo is a private uh, parking sharing uh, uh, solution. It's very uh, easy to use and it's, it allows neighbors to offer uh, their available parkings or book another neighbor's parking. It's very uh, easy to use tool and it will be even easier once we integrate uh, um, um, personal assistant uh, technology. Um, let's say uh, Alexa uh, will know that uh, friends or family are coming over by reading your calendar and then would suggest an available parking or even book it for you. But this is planned for future versions. Uh, we decided to launch a pilot with our current version and the pilot was held in uh, Holon, two high-rise buildings with almost 200 families uh, that has a connected uh, parking area. We had an amazing 22% adoption of our solution and 32% of all offered parkings were actually booked. 
saving the neighbors a lot of time, energy, frustration and money. Our vision is to be the number one solution for privately owned parking. We'll address first the residential market and charge 5% commission for every transaction, offer a premium version of the application, and a subscription-based licensing and white-label versions of the application for municipalities and building management groups. In phase two, we plan to address the, uh, the, sorry, the commercial market that faces the same problem, if not a bigger one. Uh, we are seeking to uh, raise $1 million uh, seed money and will focus the first year on uh, continuous development of the product and uh, making more uh, pilots. And um, second year will be mainly marketing and expanding and generating revenue. And uh, by the third year we plan to be profitable. Thank you all for coming and we wish you a very happy uh, parking experience throughout the day. Any questions? Just wondering on what you support your business model. Um, can you go to the business model? Uh, we start by with the residential uh, uh, market, as this is the market where we are planning to uh, get uh, more traction and get more uh, more customers using the. Uh, the solution. Our idea, we do not actually separate between a parking owner and a driver because basically it's the same person. Today you're a parking owner and then you travel to your office and then you're becoming a driver. And one day you're a guest in someone's house and so this is we're actually creating a community that will enable them to trade between uh, uh, themselves. And the, basically the, the amount that will be charged will be based on a decision that will be made by the parking owner. Some places it will be free of charge if you're offering it to your neighbors, or some places it will be on a chargeable basis if your apartment is actually located in a high demand area that you're basically allowing other people to park there. And we will charge 5% commission on every transaction uh, based on the amount of money that is uh, being exchanged and we will also offer a premium version with additional functionalities that will not be able uh, available in the Do you have any verification mechanism? What do you mean? I'm claiming I own, I own a parking lot or, or a parking spot, so how you verify it? All the transactions will be through the app. Again, how you verify? I am a, I'm a real owner. It's not a public uh, place that I will charge illegally on that one. Verification on your product. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, since today we're targeting uh, only residential close communities, so basically it's a, just imagine a building and the application is close to a building and we have hierarchies in managing the group so we have just like a WhatsApp group you have the manager of the building which is basically can allow or not allow user to be part of the group and this is the mechanism that allows uh, uh, that makes sure that people who belong to that particular group are actually living in the building and they are parking owners but you have a good point in the future roadmap when we open it in more to additional users and to open it also to commercial use, then definitely we need to think about a mechanism like that. So coming from a, a northern neighborhood of Tel Aviv, uh, can I have it tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, I think it can be very viral. Um, we host a lot of dinner parties, we invite a lot of friends, and it's really a problem. Uh, to arrange uh, parking for, not for us, because we have parking of course, but for friends and they see the parking lot is half empty, but it's very embarrassing to ask a neighbor, can I use your parking when you're going to be home? So I think it's a wonderful solution um, and it can be, uh, I think, rather easily uh, uh, becoming viral towards uh, uh, buildings and word of mouth, using a lot of word of mouth, uh, my only concern is that I think people will uh, expect it to be free. So if uh, major uh, income will be without any money transfer, then 
uh, how the 5% commission is going to be uh, really collected from the users. Uh, okay, so regarding your first point, thank you very much. We also see a lot of potential in that. This is how to, basically the idea started because of our own personal experience inviting pe people over and uh, having to see that we don't have anywhere for them to park, although the building was half empty. So this is what we started uh, this uh, concept. Uh, definitely, the, uh, the, there, is, there, there are many views. Uh, people are expecting it to be free, but they are also willing to pay uh, for uh, when they are going to the office. So they are going, they are willing to pay for large amounts of money for publicly for public uh, parking lots. So this is why in our uh, solution, we're basically we're allowing the end user to to select whether they're offering their parking free of charge or they're going to charge for it. Uh, we believe that there, there is a need and there is a risk. The photo that we showed before of Rosh Ha'ayin, people are risking 500 uh, shekels getting fined and it's just a matter of the city deciding whether they're going to find that these people parked on the pavement or not. And when this happens, then definitely people will be willing and will be happy to pay the 10 shekels or whatever sum will be needed in order to park legally in the same building. So uh, it definitely it needs to be validated, but uh, we, th we think there's a potential. So just a quick advice. Uh, I think for the first stage, you have to stick with community. It's very strong. Yeah. And uh, for your point, uh, if you can uh, allow people to use it only if they give their personal space. So there is some kind of a mutual uh, Responsibility. <coughs> uh, the, the, the pilot that we ran was based uh, just on that because in order to book a parking, you needed to have points. Uh, only when you gave your uh, parking, you could earn points. And in that way, we made the, the life cycle of the parkings uh, working. I, I... I certainly agree that this can be very uh, interesting for uh, buildings, you know, communities, close communities. Uh, but I'm, I'm a bit, uh, you know, I, I don't know how to, to think about this. Is this, uh, what, what's going to be the potential business uh, from this? I mean, is this going to be a niche uh, kind of thing, or it's going to be something really big? Because if, if somebody pays, you know, ten shekels for parking space, and you get five percent, so half a shekel. The numbers here, I, I'm not sure they add up to a significant number that would be interesting for investors. Uh, first of all, uh, this uh, uh, model and the premium version, which will be uh, subscription uh, based, and there is the commercial market, in which uh, there is uh, probably uh, more money and uh, need. So we believe we can uh, uh, find uh, the numbers we want. Thank you. Thank you.